payroll management in busy let's briefly discuss busy payroll management to get started go to the administration configuration feature and option and click on the enterprise feature tab and enable the payroll feature then click on the configuration tab in busy payroll feature you have multiple modes available such as monthly salary daily wages and production so for this session we will focus on monthly salary next there is the round off option if you need to round off amounts like rounding of uh, gross salary net salary net salary payable it's usually best to set this to automatic however you can configure it according to your specific requirements if needed in the next payroll section you also have the option to enable overtime loans and advances additionally there is a requirement for employees passport details primarily when these details are needed on the contractual basis during the hiring process within this section you can choose to enable the maintain accounting with payroll option if you want to handle payroll accounting you will also find the account to be posted under option enabling this option means that you can decide whether the accounting voucher should be posted in payment voucher or general voucher according to your preference afterward you can select the series for the voucher type you need to specify the default uh, debit account for salary normally bc already provides a default salary account so there is no need to create a new one if you can simply select the existing account we will specify the accounts according to the payment mode such as the cash account for cash transaction and bank account for check payments similarly we will specify an account for bank transfers next we will enable the tds on salary option which will prompt us to select yes to activate the tds feature if there is a professional tax applicable in your state we will enable it to maintain employees provident fund we will enable this option and provide the company's pf detail if employee state insurance is applicable we will enable this option and specify the company's detail once we complete these configurations we will save the settings next we will move on to the master for employee creation where we will create an employee and provide all the necessary details this includes their name employee code and group if you need to create a new designation for a group you can use the f3 shortcut key then you will fill in the remaining details as required after that you will specify the date of joining current employment status if the employee has a pf number or a uan you will provide those details if this employee is eligible for a bonus you will enable this option as well now at the bottom you will find several tabs first you will click on the payment mode tab then you will select the payment mode for this employee indicating how their salary will be disbursed for now we will select check as the payment mode next click on the salary structure tab where you will define the salary structure for this employee this will include components like a basic hra transport allowances pf and others after setting up the structure remember to save this configuration as well now go back to the employee master in the modify mode click on the tds detail tab to check if tds needs to be deducted for this employee then uh, click on the compute salary and select projected to calculate the annual salary and determine the tds deduction if you also want to deduct tds along with the salary you can split the tds amount into monthly quarterly half yearly or annually based on your company's requirement mention this amount below and save it once done go back to the salary structure tab and define the tds structure here then after saving the changes after that we will define these salary components in the voucher configuration also to do this click on the salary calculation voucher type in the voucher configuration 
and then select the same voucher type configuration. Here we will configure the salary components in the same order as defined in the salary structure. For example, we will start with basic HRA and TA under earnings and then PF under deduction and TDS under adjustments. This way we will define the components here in the same sequence and save the configuration. Now we will post the salary voucher. For this go to the transaction and add a salary calculation voucher. Specify the voucher date and choose the type. You can select salary for now and continue. Select the salary month. If you need to change the salary month or the number of days you can do so. When you select check as a payment mode, only employees who receive their salary via check will be displayed. Click on the down arrow and uh, you will see that there are two options available. Pick employee from Excel or pick employee manual. So for now we will select the pick employee manual option. Select the employee and see that the salary is automatically calculated based on the specified components. If there are unpaid days to account for, for example, if the employee took a two day leave, you can specify them here and uh, the salary will be calculated accordingly. Save this information and you will see that it generates an accounting voucher. This voucher is included in the payment voucher. Open the voucher and check that salary voucher has been automatically posted. Additionally, you can open the salary calculation voucher and print the salary slip by clicking on the print option. You will see that the salary slip is printed in a configurable format that can be adjusted to your specific requirements. Now let's explore payroll related reports. Click on the payroll reports in the display and you will find various reports available. And one more important thing. Busy also allows you to file the PF e-returns directly from the software. So this concludes Busy Payroll Management. For more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.